Here I am inside the Kevin Bacon HTML file in Chrome. So inside brackets, I am inside the week nine lab, and I am looking at the index.html file. I've also opened it in the browser here. A lot of times, especially on large files, I find it much easier to navigate the tag tree in the browser using the inspector rather than paging through it in something like brackets. So let's start that off by inspecting. Let me pull in my browser window here so we can see more of the inspector. I'm going to close up the div ID equals content to, so I can give myself um, an idea of what I'm dealing with here. And this is a little bit like drawing boxes because I can mouse over some things and see where some different areas are um, in the browser window. So I have a number of different things happening inside the body. At the top, I do have a header area. It's blank right now, but there is a space for it. This is a tag we haven't seen before. It's named header. So um, this is not a div. This is not a span. It's, it's like a div. It's a block of the page, but, and it's invisible. Uh, it's transparent. Um, and it's really just here to specify that this is header type content. Not No hard and fast rules here, but if it probably is at the top of the page, probably talking about big ideas about the about the whole site or the current page it's probably in the header area down here is an, is um is a nav tag again something we haven't seen so um this is again nav is another tag like that's like a div um, but it specifies that this is the main uh, navigation for the page in this case it's a list of links if i pop it open we can see uh, an order, unordered list with a bunch of li's and each li has an a in it this, so this is a similar format that we've seen in some of our review exercises we just have a new tag called nav now i have a, a div id equals subhead so this answers my my um, personal mental question about what is this area um, right now it's zero high, there's nothing in this div. I suspect this is where our picture is going to go. Um, you won't find this on all sites, but it seems to be here, so we'll use it. Underneath here is a, di is a div ID equals content, and um, it's sectioned off, it looks like, into two sections. The main area, which is up top, and then the aside, which is here. So holy moly, we just saw a whole bunch of new tags. We this the div ID equals content. That one's old, but we've got header, we've got nav, we've got section and aside, um, and then at the bottom we've got footer, an actual footer tag. So just to give you an idea of when where these tags came from. So it used to be back in the old days that there were only divs. Divs what div a div was all you had, and people got into the you know, the habit of IDing them for for the large uh, areas of the page, it would be something like div ID equals header, div ID equals sidebar, div ID equals footer. And so every over time, people started using the same words until finally um, the the consortium that manages the HTML language said, now wait a second, everybody's using div for all these things. Sometimes we're using div as a container um, f just for styling purposes completely and sometimes we're using, using div to really mean something specific and everybody seems to be using the same kinds of words to describe it so instead of having div id equals header let's just have a header tag that will that will um this will be um much easier because browsers will be able to to know that if you tag this as a header it doesn't look like anything special but you are saying to the browser hey this is header content where something like div id equals header, the browser doesn't necessarily know that you mean it's header content. So the, the semantic markup uh, tags were born, and now they're part of the HTML language. Uh, I'm going to, in the next video, we'll take a closer look at some of the resources that you have in order to practice using these, and then we'll take another look at the Kevin Bacon site.